industrial and domestic application of anaerobic fermentation or respiration. There are many uses to which anaerobic has been put over the years. And these include the following. One, in the brewing industry or alcohol production. Yeast respires anaerobically on sugars to produce ethanol. This ethanol is put to many uses. It can be used as an alcoholic beverage or can be used as a solvent, industrial solvent, to make paint and other substances. Two second use is in the baking industry. When yeast is added to a duff, it respires anaerobically, making the duff to rise. This rising of the duff makes heavy starch, the, the heavy starch that is in the duff, to become light. During the baking, the yeast dies. And the carbon fox had produced, because it's one of the products of yeast, anaerobic respiration, the carbon fox had expands and it bubbles, making cavities. These cavities that are so characteristic of bread and cake. This is what causes the rising, the expansion of the carbon fox head, that's creating the cavities. Now, other than making the dove to rise, Yeast is an important source of vitamins B2 and vitamin riboflavin. Yeast is also an important source of essential amino acids and minerals. So in the baking industry, not only do they make the dough to rise, but they also enrich the product. Third application is the biogas production. In the biogas production, decomposer bacteria act on undigested wastes of mammals and birds and also of plants to produce a mixture of methane and carbon dioxide. Now this methane is a good fuel and can be used in cooking. In this picture here, this is the biodigester, the structure in which decomposition is taking place and methane is released, then collected through this pipe and supplied to the cooker. Methane burns with a blue flame, thereby providing an important source of fuel for cooking. A further application is in the manufacturing of dairy products. Many dairy products, such as yogurt, cheese, butter, sour milk, are produced as a result of anaerobic respiration. Certain bacteria act on fresh milk and convert the milk into the various products as shown in this photograph. Then there is silage production. Silage is a type of plant material that has been fermented by anaerobic bacteria so that it can be kept for a long time without decomposing. Silage is normally, in the production of silage, Plant materials are cut in, or chopped into small pieces, then enclosed in an airtight container or material so that it does not decompose. So in this silage making process, this heavy drum is run over to make sure that as much air as possible escapes before the plant material is covered. So this will not only soften the plant material but it's going to add the flavor because the products of anaerobic respiration some have 
sweet smelling and they add good flavor and scent that's making very good animal feed then there is the commercial production of vinegar vinegar is a combination of organic acids such as ethanoic acid citric acid butyric acid and oxalic acid vinegar has a number of uses including cleansing of kitchen appliances like microwaves deterring ants can be used as a repellent for insects can be applied on hair to make it healthy and shiny can be applied in the house to eliminate bad smell can be applied on the skin to soothe sun burned areas and can also be applied on the part of the skin where there is acne acne is very well treated using vinegar then lastly there is sewage treatment in sewage treatment anaerobic bacteria and fungi are used to break down organic matter in the sewage and industrial effluent to reduce harmful effect so that this sewage material is not released directly into water bodies but it is passed through sewage treatment plant in which anaerobic bacteria and fungi remove the harmful organic matter so that whatever that is released is less harmful and therefore there will be less harm that is done to aquatic organisms now we compare aerobic and anaerobic respiration this table here lists the differences the main differences between the two types of respiration anaerobic respiration occurs in the cytoplasm aerobic okay, begins in the cytoplasm but most of it occurs within the mitochondria anaerobic does not require oxygen well aerobic requires oxygen oxygen must be present in anaerobic respiration the products are lactic acid in animals and ethanol in plants but in aerobic respiration the pro we don't have lactic acid or ethanol being produced but instead carbon dioxide and water are the products in anaerobic products are not broken down completely this is the product such as the lactic acid or ethanol sorry the lactic acid and ethanol can be broken down later to release more energy but in the aerobic respiration the carbon dioxide and water cannot be broken down further anaerobic respiration is less efficient it releases very little energy only 2 atp while aerobic is more efficient releasing a lot more energy now the reason for the difference is that the products of anaerobic respiration still contain chemical bonds that carry energy while in aerobic respiration these products have been completely broken down and there are very few chemical bonds still remaining in anaerobic the food substrate is partially broken down while in aerobic it is completely broken down low amount of energy is released now this is the same point as that this in other words the same same point being expressed in other words low amount of energy in anaerobic and high amount of energy in aerobic then over a short period of time energy is released much faster in anaerobic while within the same short period of time not as much energy will be released in aerobic respiration aerobic respiration requires a longer time to release all the energy but anaerobic respiration is very quick very short and so it releases energy 
faster. And then lastly, the byproducts accumulate in the cell during anaerobic respiration, that is the lactic acid and ethanol. But in aerobic, the byproducts, mainly carbon dioxide, will diffuse out of the cells.